I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, oh, take it away, doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time once again for Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ha <laughs> ha! And I am Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. I am only slightly nutty. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Although Fred disagrees. Don't you, Fred? Yes. Well... Fred is very opinionated, as you may have noticed. Now, for those of you that are listening to the audio and not the video, first of all, why? Huh? <laughs> Second of all, Fred is my imaginary friend. And since he's my imaginary friend, you can't hear him because he's not really here. But his comments show up on the screen. So if you watch the video version, which I encourage you to do more than usual this week for a reason that will become clear momentarily, I need you <laughs> to switch off the audio temporarily and go switch on the video to watch it this week. By the way, we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon. We are also proud members of the International Association of Internet Broadcasters. like to remind you of that as we start each show. And this week I have a very unusual thing that I want to do. You see, this, as I mentioned, is a tech show. Now some people would say, oh, Dr. Bill, it's not really a tech show, it's a humor show. <laughs> Yes, well, it's a tech humor show then. You know, I know it's you don't always get your tech news. You don't always get your tech news from Dr. Bill, but when you do, it's humorous. <laughs> yes. Oh, well. Anyway, the point is, is I was surfing the web this week. Yes. I do that sometimes, and when I did, I found something that was awesome. It's both tech and humor and news all at the same time. So, of course, I had to feature it on today's program. So, I've asked Fred to queue up something for us on the old video screen, which I will have to move over somewhat. <laughs> for you to see. So Fred, go ahead and roll that beautiful road footage. Solar freaking roadways. What are they? They're solar freaking roadways. What do they want from me? Well, they're solar freaking roadways. Okay, so actually this time, what is it? It's technology that replaces all roadways, parking lots, sidewalks, driveways, tarmacs, bike paths, and outdoor recreation surfaces with solar panels. And not just lifeless, boring solar panels. Smart, microprocessing, interlocking, hexagonal solar units. No more useless asphalt and concrete just sitting there baking in the sun, needing to be repaved, and filling with potholes that ruin your axle alignment on your sweet ride, bro. These are intelligent solar panels. Replace the panel at a time if damaged or malfunctioning. They're covered with a new tempered glass material that has been designed and tested to meet all impact, load, and traction requirements. Oh, and did I mention that they're also solar panels? They generate electricity. They generate capital. They pay for themselves, and they keep paying more because we're not going to run out of yes. sun for like 15 you billion years. Ah, now wasn't that splendid and worthwhile? You say, Dr. Bill, what in the world was that about? Well, it's about something awesome. I'm a great believer in the American entrepreneurial spirit. That thing that's out there among us that makes us invent and create and solve problems better than any other nation on this green earth. Yes. <laughs> anyway, the point is, this is such a cool idea. It's high tech. It's cool. It solves problems. It's high tech. Did I mention? 
and it's just so awesome. Now you know me, as I mentioned in the uh, write-up I did on the blog. The blog, of course, being Dr. Bill, D-R-B-I-L-L dot TV, as it says there on the screen. Anyway, when I wrote the article, I said, you know me, I'm not like an environmentalist wacko, dude. <laughs> yes. Anyway, but I am fascinated by electric cars. I am fascinated by solar energy power from the sun. How cool is that? And this... This caught my attention, solar roadways, or as they call it, solar freaking roadways. Dude. So, when I first started looking at this site, they had gathered $400,000 toward their million dollar goal on Indiegogo, which is a crowdfunding site. So I contributed my $10 in good faith, that the project would come to pass. Because, as much as I believe in the American entrepreneurial spirit, that's just how much I don't believe in government's ability to do anything right. <laughs> yeah. So, I am a great believer in the American people getting together and doing what needs to be done. And so I contributed my $10. And then just last night I went back to the site and they had gotten 600,000 of their $1 million goal. 400,000 in one day, they went to 600,000. So today, right now as I record this, this is a Saturday morning, I logged on to the site and they're up to $726,357. They don't show how many cents, <laughs> but dude, 700, you know, $726,000 is a lot of jelly beans, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, of their million dollar goal, and they have eight days left, I think they're going to make it, particularly since I have now showed you this video and told you about it so you can go out and join the masses that are clamoring for solar freaking roadways. Yes! We're going to make the million easy. I think this is awesome. So, that's why I told you about it. Now, I know some of you will write me and go, Oh, Dr. Bill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. You got to believe in the American spirit of entrepreneurialism and coolness and solar freaking roadways <laughs> so anyway i like it <laughs> as you can tell so next item <laughs> a cheap name brand tablet is available from hewlett packard no less hewlett packard the company that makes computers Yes, they're now making tablets. Well, I'm sure they've made tablets for a while, but this one is new and it's cool and it's cheap. It's mainly new and cool because it is cheap. Or at least cool because it's cheap. This is an article that I posted from Lilliputing Magazine. Isn't that a cute name? Anyway, it is a an under $100 meaning $99.99, so it's just a penny under $100, but hey, what are you going to do? And it's an Android tablet. They started selling it in Europe a few months ago, and they decided, you know, Americans might want it too. Yes. So, it's a 7-inch tablet with a 1024 by 600 pixel IPS display, 1 gigahertz all-winner A31 ARM Cortex A7 processor. It's running Android, Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. Like I said, it's a lot of jelly beans, you know what I'm saying? One gig of RAM, eight gig of storage with a micro SD card slot to add more storage. Two megapixel rear camera and a 0.3 megapixel front facing camera so you can Skype. Uh, 802.11b GNN Wi Fi with Miracast wireless display support. Whoa. Uh, 20. 800 microamps per hour MAH battery. 
Uh, it is 7.6 by 4.8 by 0.32 inches, and it weighs 10.4 ounces. So, a good bit less than a pound, which would be 16 ounces for those of you in Rio Linda. Okay, so, HP also throws in 25 gig of free lifetime storage. Now, when I got my Chromebook, I got 100 gig of storage. <laughs> Excuse me, 100 gig of storage. You'd think, at 58 years old, my voice would no longer break. But, hey, I'm young at heart. What can I say? Anyway, the point is... The point is that when I got my Chromebook, I got 100 gig of storage for two years. But HP is giving you 25 gig lifetime storage with Cloud Storage Service Box. And includes Kingsoft Office software. Anyway... The old finger twilling in the air. I don't care for those of you on audio. So, the tablet is Google certified and comes with access to the Google Play Store. So, it's not one of those crummy, cheap ones that won't do Google Play Store. Well, it is cheap, but you know what I'm saying. While the battery life and screen resolution aren't exactly stellar, true, they should be good enough for basic around-the-house use. If you want a more powerful device, HP has models with higher resolution displays, faster processors, and other superior features, but they're 150 bucks and up. So, I mean, for 99 bucks, I mean, come on, think about this. This is sad to think about, but it's true. These days, due to inflation, when I was younger, $100 was a lot of money. And it still is, sort of. But back then, the value you get for $20 would be what we get for $100. So in terms of inflationary thinking, you can think of this as like a $20 tablet. Whoa. It's pretty cool, actually. Anyway, so everyone should get a tablet and enjoy computing of the Portable sort. No! Yes, that's the Geek Software of the Week drum roll. Thank you, Fred. So anyway, the Geek Software of the Week this week. Boy, he really caught me off guard this time. Way to go, Fred. Yes. Anyway, the Geek Software of the Week is is Privacy Eraser. I had the title scrolled off the screen, so I went, what? <laughs> it's, it's Privacy Eraser. I knew that. <sighs> yes. This is free software. That's why it's called Privacy Eraser Free, the free version. There is a paid version. This is the free version. And it cleans your tracks and protects your privacy. Cleans up your computer. Just dumps out all of those history logs and things that you know, Google might try to swipe and keep and things. Or people might log on your computer and see that you've been surfing about solar freaking roadways. <laughs> I don't know why you'd care if they knew that, but anyway. So it keeps people from tracking your private thoughts and surfings. Surfages. Not a word. <laughs> anyway. So it's simply one quick click, quick click. <laughs> I make it up as I go along. You can quickly erase the internet, cache cookies, browsing history, address bar history, typed URLs, autocomplete form history, saved password, index.dat files, your browser, your windows run history, search history, open save history, recent documents, temporary files, recycle bin, clipboard, task bar, jump list, DNS, cache log, files, memory dumps, error reporting, and much more. Whoa! So this is very cool software. Now, if you're doing things you shouldn't be doing, this is not an excuse, but it is a way at least to be private in the surfages, surfings. I like to make up words. I'm a neologian. You know what, I'm, what I mean? Neologian, new words. Never mind. Anyway, um, so it's cool. And it's free. So go to the website, drbill.tv, click on the link and download it for yourself. By the way, this is one I have downloaded, tested, and really, really, really like. 
Not just what I found at the last minute and threw out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I actually have it installed on my real computer. So, anyway, I like it. Um, also, eBay was hacked this week. Horrors! Actually, you know, I don't really care that much, but eBay was hacked. Big time. And so you need to immediately, you probably already got the password if you're an eBay customer. I did. Go immediately and change your password. They have supposedly, we hope, fixed the problem. And they just now need you to change your password so that it will be safe and protected and people won't be able to get into your eBay account. Not good. So, while you're there... Why don't you go ahead and buy two things I have out there? Yes. I know this is a shameless plug, but hey, it's my show. So shameless plugs are okay. Um, what I have out there for sale is a Roland Ederol V4 video switcher. For those of you wanting to do video such as this, you can, uh, you can buy that video switcher from me. You can bid on it. And you might get it even cheaper than I have it posted on the sell now button. But it's a really, really good deal. Believe me, I mean, dude, it's a really good deal. The other thing that might be of more interest to some of you that aren't doing video necessarily is the Data Video DAC 200 Firewire Digital Analog Video Capture Converter. Whoa, that sounds really cool and techy, doesn't it? Anyway, what it allows you to do is take your video capture, run it into your FireWire port on your computer, and record it. Dude. So that's very cool, too. And it's really, this device, you don't find these anymore. Okay? So, but it's in great shape. Both of these things are in excellent shape. Don't have a scratch on them. Really good shape. They've been used, they haven't been used on the road and been banged around. They are in good shape. So check it out if you're looking for stuff like this. Okay. So there you go. Now you, you might say, Dr. Bill, you didn't have nearly enough news items this week. Yes, that's true. But that's because it's been another one of those crazy weeks. And this weekend is the Memorial Day holiday. By the way, salute to all of you that are in the armed services currently serving and, of course, we fondly remember those that have given their lives in service to our country and remember their families as well. So we appreciate their service. All right, so Memorial Day weekend isn't just a weekend to go out and cook hot dogs and hamburgers and be with your family, although that's fine and that's good. It is a time to remember those who have fallen in service to our country, and we appreciate them. But at any rate, since it is Memorial Day, we will have an extra day, most of us, an extra day off of work, and so that may give me the opportunity to catch up on all the other netcasts that I do, like the Handheld Hack and Vert Zine, and all kinds of other things that I do from a video perspective, such as this. So, remember until next time that the doctor is out of here! Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon is a production of DrBillBailey.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.